We've got to run because some people got to go to work and we just need to do this fast. True? Okay. Now, I'll just share God's word with you and then as the Lord drops prophetic words in my spirit, I'll prophesy upon our lives. And I believe God is going to be a turnaround for somebody. This morning is de dedicated to favor. Somebody shout favor. Psalm 102 verse 13. Please open your ears while the prophetic word is coming. Psalm 102 verse 13. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. Yea, the time to favor her, the set time has come. Favor is the language of champions. Favor is the language of champions. Anyone in life that wants to be a high flyer in any facet of life must ride on the wings of favor. High flyers rides on the wings of favor. Favor is divine super on your earthly natural. Divine super on your earthly natural. And when it comes on you, it ends up making you supernatural. Favor is divine super. Men who are favored are natural. But there is a super element residing on their naturality that makes them stand out and miss their peers. Favor. Favor is heaven's extra on your earthly ordinary. Heaven's extra on your earthly ordinary. When a man begins to operate an extraordinary life, it's because that man is riding on the premise and the wings of favor. Favor is what makes an ordinary man become extraordinary. Favor is divine preference in earthly affairs. Preference is when you are, you are, you are liked, you are loved, you are choosing out, you stand out. The Bible says in Daniel chapter 6 and verse 3, and this Daniel was preferred above of the president because an excellent spirit where others are rejected when favor comes on you you shall be preferred that your amen is offending my anointing I say where others are abandoned where others are ignored because of the element of favor you shall be preferred amen. favor favor of God the supernatural favor of God. Favor is flavor that adds savour to your labor. Favor is flavor that adds savour to your labor. Favor is kingdom partiality that provokes earthly likeability, collectability, giveability, and takeability. Favor is what is what makes you stand out amidst your peers. Favor is kingdom partiality that provokes earthly likeability, giveability, takeability, collectability, embraceability, preferenceability. When favor comes upon a man, where others are ignored, you are not just accepted, you are celebrated. Am I talking to somebody here? What is favor? Favor is kingdom acceptance that violates earthly protocols. When favor comes upon a man, protocols are broken. Favor is what relegates rudiments. It relegates rudiments. It doesn't matter how others have been on the queue. When favor comes upon a man, he jumps the queue. Am I talking to somebody here? When favor comes upon a man, he jumps the queue. Someone here, you are jumping the queue. Thou shall arise and have mercy on Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time. The time to favor her. Yea, the set time. When a man is favored, in 1 Samuel 16, verse 23, as soon as they told King Saul, 1 Samuel 16, 23, they said to King Saul that David is around. He said, bring him in. He has found favor in my sight. Somebody he has not met before. Just hearing his name, he said, I, I, I like him. I give him favor. When a man has the element of favor, his helpers will bless him for what does not make sense. Exodus chapter 3 verse 20 the Bible says I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians that when they shall leave they shall not live empty Exodus chapter 12 and verse 36 the Bible says because the commandment was urgent that the people found favor in the sight of the Egyptian and they spoiled the Egyptians let me explain what that means it's like you Israel they were living in Egypt that night 
It's like you meeting somebody. You say, please, I'm, I'm relocating from Yola. He say, where are you going? He say, I'm going to London. He say, what do you want? He say, give me your jewelries. Give me your money. Give me your dollars. Give me all your, your, your silver. Give me your gold. And the person pack it and they give you. And the person say, when am I seeing you? Say, you won't see me again. Uh, when will I get back my jewelry? You won't get it again. The person say, carry and go. It doesn't make sense. Does it make sense? The Bible said they borrowed, they borrowed from the Egyptians and spoiled them. Spoiled them means that they wrecked their economy. They borrowed them. Said, Give me this, okay, take. Give me your gold, take. Borrow me your silver, take. Borrow me your bronze, take. When are you returning it? I'm not returning it. When are you seeing me? I'm not seeing you again. All right, bye-bye, go. It doesn't make sense. Am I communicating here? It doesn't make logical sense. Am I communicating? In Psalm chapter 5 and verse 12, he says that the word of God says, You have encompassed me with favor as with a shield. In Psalm chapter 30, verse 5, he says, In his favor is life. In Psalm chapter 30, verse 7, he says, By the favor that was made my mountain to stand strong. In Psalm 106 and verse 4, he says, Remember me with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. In Acts 13, verse 34. It was clear. God said, I will give him the sure mercies of David. What made David a great man was the mercy of heaven. And that is something you need. He said, thou shall arise and have mercy on Zion for the time to favor. So, at the platform, favor rides on the platform of mercy. He says, the sure mercies of David. David was a man that took his word because he rode on the wings of mercy. In 2 Samuel 7 and verse 15, God was talking concerning Solomon. He said to David, I will not take away the mercy, my mercy from him as I took it from Saul. The difference between Saul and David was mercy. If you want favor, ask for mercy. 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 Romans 12 and verse 1. Brethren, I beseech you by the mercies of God that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, which is your reasonable service. You can't save God unless you understand mercy. Romans chapter 9 verse 15. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Mark chapter 10 and verse 47. A man called blind Bartimaeus cried, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy. Have mercy. Mercy gives you what God reserves, not what you deserve. If you have to check what you deserve. Many of us are suffering today. They have prayed for you, prayed for you. They have laid hands on you. They have done everything. They have poured oil on your head. They have carried you. They have put you inside oil. Now you now look like plantain chips. And upon all, nothing is changing in your life because you lack the mercy of God. Mercy. That is why every time, mercy is different from forgiveness. Forgiveness is when a man commits sin. He says, forgive me. Even a man who lives righteous still needs mercy. Because despite how righteous you live, there are foundations that can be crying. But mercy ignores. Mercy looks at Christ. Mercy sees Christ. Whenever you say, Lord, have mercy. You might be standing on the platform of purity. But you say, Lord, have mercy. You are saying, ignore all the errors. Ignore what my fathers did. And focus on what Christ did. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? Mercy. Kato Bradasha. Lift up your two and say, Lord, I need mercy. No. Say it loud and clear. Say loud and clear. Say it loud and clear. Say it loud and clear. Lord, I need mercy. Some persistent and stubborn affliction is on the premise of bankruptcy of mercy. Isaiah chapter 16 verse 10. In thy favor, I have remembered mercy. Psalm 89 verse 1. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. 
will my mouth will my make known thy faithfulness to all generation we need the mercy of God there are so many of us if you have to look at the errors of our past if you have to look at the errors of our fathers there is no way we should be alive there's no way we should even prosper but when mercy shows up mercy gives you what God reserves not what you deserve the mercy of God is your escape route mercy is divine compassion on the basis of love divine compassion on the basis of love mercy is God looking away from you and focusing on Christ I, there's a book in the Bible the book of Psalm 136 it has 26 verses from verse 1 to 26 it kept hammering on the mercy of God Psalm 136 from verse 1 to 26 it kept hammering on the mercy of God from verse 1 he says mercy endureth forever verse 2 is mercy endureth forever verse 3 is mercy endureth forever he got to a portion around verse 8 to verse 10 he said he killed their firstborn for his mercy endureth forever sometimes when God shows you mercy he show your enemies war Anytime God shows you mercy, He's merciless to anything that stands against you. Rakatobadija. What we need is the mercy of God. When we understand the place of mercy, then favor begins to show forth. Am I talking to somebody right now? Every one of us needs to appropriate the element of divine favor. Listen, hear this. An angel. In Luke chapter 1, appeared. He appeared to a man called John. Called Zechariah, the father of John. And he said, Hey, you shall have a child in your old age. The guy laughed because at then he was about 89. The wife was about 85. You shall have a child in your old age. The man laughed. He said, I am old. But my wife is stricken in age. That man had a bad mouth. How can you be older than your wife and you say she's stricken in age? It's you that's older that should be stricken in age. The man had a bad, bad mouth. He said, me, oh, me, me, me. I'm old. But my wife, our own old age is affliction. There are men like that. Is that true? They say, I know me, I'm bad, but my wife is a devil. That was, that was John. Because of that kind of mouth, that was why the angel of the Lord said, with this kind of mouth, your wife can have miscarried. You'll be dumb. So the angel of the Lord sealed his mouth for doubting. How can it happen? That same angel left him to where he was, Gabriel, and went to Mary. He said, Mary, you shall have a child. Mary so was worse. He said, how shall this be seen that I know not a man? And the angel said, the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Now, I didn't like that. Because the first man doubted, you made him dumb. This woman now doubted, you should make her blind. You don't understand? No. What is fair is fair. One just, you, the same angel, one doubted. You said, be dumb. You closed his mouth. You left him, went to the, the, the youngest said, I don't know any man, it cannot happen. You say, the power of the highest. Until I now discovered what separated both of them. In Luke 1 verse 30, he said, Hail Mary, thou art highly favored. So it was favor that was on Mary that despite her error, one was punished, she was not punished. When favor comes upon you, while others are punished, hey, you are exempted. <laughs> favor is divine exemption. I prophesy by the favor of God, you are exempted from trouble. Amen. You are exempted from trouble. Amen. You are exempted from aggression. Amen. If your amen is loud, I take favor. Amen. Uh, give me 10 minutes. Give me 10 minutes to round up. Sit down. In Luke chapter 2, verse 52, the Bible said this child grew, Jesus grew with wisdom and stature and was in favor with God and man. Am I communicating? In First Samuel chapter 1 and verse 26, says Samuel grew and he had favor. First Samuel chapter 2, rather verse 26, Samuel grew and had favor with God and man. Somebody here, I see favor empowering your growth. You can never see. This world is a rat race. 
Even if you win the race, you are still a rat. Everybody is in a hurry. For you to stand out of the number, something has to pick you out. Eh? Not everybody goes to the queue. Have you seen a fire queue before? That is long. And a man of authority just comes. He goes straight to the pump. And you say, eh, this place, this place, eh, okay, eh. You are busy making noise behind. The man is buying fear. Especially if he's a military man. You are just talking. You, talk, you, look, at, you look at the general's face. You say, what is it? This place is not fair. One of his boys say, what did you say? Um, I'm saying that people should stay on the line. <laughs> <laughs> Am I communicating? Why? Because life is not fair. The truth about life is don't try to understand everything. You will blow your mental views. There are some things you just see, just leave it alone. You can't understand. You are too small to understand everything. You are too small to understand everything. That favor is what makes a man's life inexplainable. You, it's a mystery. There are people that start policy from the grassroots, from word to word, from word to word. They attend every political meeting. In fact, they, they wear the uniform of the party. They are the one that carry, they carry the logo. In fact, if you go around their house, you see posters everywhere. On their window, poster. Behind, poster. This one, poster. They did everything. And one person come with money and just buy nomination. And their house, you see everything from up to down, next level, back, next level, corner, next level. Next level everywhere. And one, one new devil just come. <laughs> Collect a nomination. This is our party. I want to decamp. Even if you decamp, nobody knows you. Life is not fair. Am I communicating here? There are people that work for a party. And there are some other people that control the party. It's not love you came home. Chaposo, are you trying to encourage corruption? Are you encouraging corruption? <laughs> are you encouraging corruption? They should give people what they are due. <laughs> Even government don't pay salary when due. <laughs> Keep quiet there. When I see people starting and they are trying to, they are trying to act like, they are trying to act like they understand the organs of life. They understand, sir, go for favor. So you stop explaining to people. People go to America and it takes them three years, ten years to get a green card. And some other people get green card from Nigeria before they travel. The same embassy you think do not give visa, give people green card. It's favor. Am I talking to somebody here? One of my sons said he was going to the embassy. He brought seven passports, all virgin. Himself, the wife, five children. He said he's going to the embassy. And I look at him and I say, Are you okay? Who will give you visa with all these children? They will just know they will know you are relocating. He said, we are going for a visit. He said, are you okay? And I blessed him. He held the seed in his hand, dropped it. I blessed him. He went there. He carried the children. A white lady was behind the counter. The last child, about two years old. Three years old, rather. He looked at her. Oh, you both good morning. The white lady ignored. He said, oh, you both good morning. The parent said, she caught up. He said, leave me. Oh, you both good morning. The lady, the answer, she was checking me. They are details. Oh, you say good morning. She hit the, the, the desk. The white lady said, hold your child. He hit, behave yourself. The man's heart was in his mouth. Say, oh, this child has spoiled everything. Oh, you good morning. Mommy, let's go. This oh, is wicked. The white lady heard it, and she started smiling. Let's go. The boy is wicked. And the white lady said, How, when are you going to the U.S.? The man said, M, M, M. He said, I like your child. Congratulations. Pick your visa in two days. Just that child. That kind of child, eh? <laughs> you hold it. Anything you want to get the job, carry the child follow. <laughs> so that that child will be disturbing them to, to attend to you. The child said, Mommy, let's go. This Oibo is wicked. And they, he said, Welcome to America. No question. Am I talking to somebody? I have another man who went there like that. He went there. His child was about 10 years old. And they were asking questions. They said, Are these children in school? Say yes. They told the parents, Step aside. They asked the children independently, when is your exam? They wanted to know if they're going to come back. When is your exam? Child mentioned. They said, what is your favorite football club? Do you like Manu? The child said, no. 
Chelsea, no. Arsenal, no. Which club do you like? He said, Eyimba. They both say, give them visa, they will come back. This one, this one that like Eyimba. <laughs> he will not say that. <laughs> Favor is mysterious. When you are before your helper, may you speak the right language. Amen. Amen. A multi billionaire woke up one day and said, I want to enter seven churches. And they want to put all the pastors you will meet, you put them on TV for one year. He entered the first church. What was the pastor preaching? The first pastor he entered the church that was started shouting. That greatness in ministry is not by television. I don't care to be on television. The man walked out. The man walked out. The day of favor. May I speak the right language? A pastor, he had a brother who was one of the young brothers in church. Anytime, anytime service ends, the brother will come and stand behind him with envelope. Please, I speak a word. The pastor will open the envelope, five naira. He will look at the brother. If he's to slap him or to knock his head, he will just collect the envelope and go. After service, push, 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 push. speak a word. He will open it, five naira. The day it increased, 50 naira. The pastor, what kind of human being is this? The envelope is even more, more, almost more expensive than the seed. So the man kept taking it. So he got to a point, if he see him coming, the pastor would just ignore him. One time, he didn't see the brother for a while. After about a couple of months, the brother came again. Had the envelope. Push, push, push. The pastor said, hey, you have come again. Give it to that usher there. Let him take bike with it. He said, that is for you. He said, no, give it to the usher. Let him take bike with it. He said, okay. He gave it to the usher. He went there to the usher. I said, please, what name do I put? The pastor didn't know it was a check. He wrote the usher's name. Sunday service, usher came to the church. Praise the Lord. Our daddy is a good man. I will never leave this church. I will never leave this church. Our daddy is a compassionate man. Something happened during the week. Somebody came and he brought an envelope for daddy. Daddy turned to me. He said they should give me for bike. This is our daddy. He loves us. And that's how he gave me, wrote my name on the check. It was five million. So I now carry, I now brought our daddy tight. The pastor jumped up. He said, you are a liar. Where is my money? Where is my money? You are a liar. In your day of favor, may you speak the right language. Amen. Amen. Many of us are too impatient and we miss our day of favor. The brother had traveled. He had gotten an explosion by his constant regular sacrifice. He came. He had a check. The pastor thought it was as usual. Not knowing heaven was in town. The young man had been lifted from a level of nothingness into a level of grace and pomp and pageantry and glory. God, I tell you, see, anybody you see today, whether in the secular world, whether in the whatever, that is successful in life has an element of selflessness. I sold my car in 1997. I met two widows discussing. They were crying that they were throwing their things out. And I sat and was looking at them. This one says she's owing 20 something thousand. That one says she's owing 20 something thousand. And they said they have some friends like that. They brought their friends. Eight of them, it became a conference of widows. And they were saying they were owing rent. I took my car and I sold it. It was my only car. And I shared the money for them to pay rent. And for three months, I had no car. 1998, August. A young, about three people or so did operation in UBTH in Benin. And they were seized by the hospital because they could not pay their bill. I sold the car again and paid the bill for three years. So when people see success now, they don't know where I'm coming from. Am I talking to somebody here? They don't know where I'm coming from. <laughs> oh, you don't understand. Somebody gave me a piece of land. <laughs> How my story started changing. Somebody gave me, after I sold that car, somebody gave me a piece of land. That land, there was no document. The land, you don't even need a software. You, you can just, you measure it like this. To show you how small it was. 
I'm trying to show you how small the land was. It's not 50 by 100. It's not 100 by 50. It's a land. <laughs> the man just gave me, said, Apostle, because of the love we have for you, you will take from here. <laughs> so, yeah. I said, God, where document? He said, forget document. Just take that side. <laughs> so, the land, <laughs> my friends, if not to measure the land, they say, show you know where your land reach. Now, from here, so. <laughs> So, no documents. So, I was asking the man, I said, okay, if I want to do something, my friends say, I best stop that. That land is inheritance. What can you do there? You can't build the kitchen. You can't build anything. I said, I want to do something. They said, you can understand. Your land is from here to here. So, as far as I was concerned, when people say they have land, I have land. They say, what's the dimension? I say, it's a land. How did God start changing my story? A multi-billionaire, popular man was building something and he needed to expand a bit and the right he was to expand to was that my land so they came to call me as the owner after I had, after I had given that my car they came to call me imagine me I was suit for a land that is from here to here I was up in my pocket. And the man said, is that your land? I said, um, yes, yes. He said, we want to buy it. I said, let me think about it. And the man said, he said, pastor, do you know I can take this land and nothing will happen? I'm calling you now. When they say pastor, I fear God. If you don't somebody else, I will take the land. And nothing will happen. He said, but pastor, so tell me how much you want. <laughs> I laugh. As that period, that land cannot be more than 50,000. I laugh. I said, sir, you know, you know the way because of where the land is located and because of the way the land is strategic, my friend was pinching me. Are you mad? My friend, call him money and let's live here. I said, my friend, relax. You know, chief, this land, the way it is, because I already have planned for that my land before. There's some things I wanted to... The man said, carry. He gave me money in six zeros. He said, take this money and go. He said, where's the document? I said, um, we have to prepare it. He said, you don't have document. Just go, 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 go. My store, the money I had then could buy four of the cars that I just gave. Anybody you see driving. You don't understand. That's why you think my life. You see this my life? My life. I've come to a point in my life. There's nothing I place value upon. I have no value for anything. So if you want to succeed, it's not about being in Yola. It's not the economies of Adamawa. In this Yola, there are people who are building houses. What are you telling me? No matter the economy of the forest, the lion cannot eat grass. No matter how tight. I said something years ago to myself that Lord, don't just make me blessed. Make me the most outstanding. And the Lord said to me that you must do what nobody has done. You must do what's not normal. You must do, must do what's not usual. I was in America one time. And the white pastor came and was talking to me that they could not pay for their rent. And the Lord said, pay for it. White membership, white church. And the Lord said, pay for it. I paid for it. God said, buy them chairs. I bought them chairs. And God said, by this sacrifice you have done, you have conquered the white world. You have penetrated into here. Not because somebody, you see, if you want to be blessed, don't check what you are giving. Check who you are giving to. When you check your bank account, you cannot give. It is natural. He that observes the wind cannot sow. Ecclesiastes 11. He that observes the wind cannot sow. And he that observes the wind cannot reap. When you consider that, no, listen, we are not giving to a pastor. You are not giving to a pastor. That's the truth. Let me open up and tell you something. Every true man of God is dependent on God. Not whatever you give. But we are giving to a God, a kingdom. While the earth remaineth seed time and harvest cold and heat day and night, summer and winter shall not cease. Church, we've got to have that understanding in our heart that God is not stranded. When God talks about sacrifice, is to check where your heart is. God is not broke. So when God talks about sacrifice to trigger mercy and favor, it's not talking about that heaven needs help. 
Heaven doesn't need help. It is man that needs favor. Heaven is not broke. It is man that needs a turnaround. Heaven is not stranded. It is man that needs open doors. I come to release the favor of God upon that your office, that your job. <laughs> Be on your feet. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. Look at somebody on your left and right and tell them, I will swim in favor. I will swim in favor. Shakato Pakata. Ticket, 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 ticket. The favor. Masokoto Balagadash. Lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. I need you, oh, I need you every hour. I need you. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Lift your hands. Before I go further, the Lord said to me, there's an anointing of favor in the atmosphere. There's an anointing of favor in this atmosphere. Say, Father. Father. I believe. I believe. In your word. In your word. I receive. I receive. On my life. On my life. On all that concerns me. On all that concerns me. Supernatural favor. Supernatural favor. Fall on me. Fall on me. Fall on me. Fall on me. Favor from heaven. Favor from heaven. Fall on me. Fall on me. Look at that. 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 Favor. Love for 25 people. I throw favor into the crowd. Take. Amen. Help them. Take. Amen. She go to my Jesus. We ask, oh God, that sicknesses melt. Amen. 
diseases melt. Amen. Affliction disappears. Amen. Make your people whole. Amen. Let them be healed. Amen. Receive favor, brother. Right where you are. Favor. Amen. Favor. Amen. Favor. Amen. Of heaven. Amen. Of heaven. Amen. Of heaven. Amen. Of heaven. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Be healed, be healed in your body. Amen. I speak it turn around for all that you do. Amen. I speak open doors. Amen. Who is Juliana? If your name is Juliana, I want to see you. Juliana, I'm seeing somebody who the Lord is healing from a fibroid. From a fibroid. It's a fibroid. Fibra. Juliana, I'm seeing something like a fibra. Come. Zotokratatata. Juliana. Juliana, I'm seeing the letter L. The letter L. Look at, look at something. Hallelujah. I'm seeing Mechika, Mechika. Mechika. Yes. Are you from Mechika? Are you from me? Hey, stop. Are you from Michika? Is there a place like that? Michika. Lift up. Woman. I see the power of God coming on you. Amen. God, I see the God of fruitfulness visiting you. Amen. Be fruitful. Let the fiber go. Go! Amen. Be healed. Amen. Zaparane. Kotobrashta. Iteketeshte. Who is Betty? Who is Betty? Betty. Tacha, tacha, tacha. 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 Lift your hands. Hey, shine up the ears, lady. Whatever God has not planted in you is uprooted. Amen. As you. God is remembering you. Wechika. Amen. Wechika. 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 Can I pray for you? Huh? You were very fat. You used to be big, but the enemies have attacked your health. Amen. But God is going to heal you. Amen. I saw an operation. Yes, you did an operation. Yes, and from that day, it's like your body is no more okay. Yes. But see the healing hand of God. Amen. The Lord is saying, is perfecting your health. Oh, nobody's following me here. Wherever you are, God is perfecting what concerns you. Amen. There is supernatural visitation of divine health. Healing power coming on you. Amen. And God will begin to restore all that you have lost in your family. Amen. Wherever you are in the crowd, God is restoring all. Restoring all. Amen. I'm seeing somebody, one eye is blind. And I'm hearing Agnes. One eye is blind. I don't know who the person is. There is healing coming. 
Agnes is married to Richard. Healing is coming. Healing is coming. One eye is blind. There is healing coming. Healing power. Healing glory. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We rebuke the finger of wickedness in the lives of the people. Amen. Open your oil. So God, make me a practical. Young girl, who is that lady to you? Who is that man? Hey, please calm down, calm down. Woman, I'm not talking to you. Calm down. Is that the husband? Who are you, lady? You are a daughter. Lord, make me practical instrument for you. Use me, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus. We speak healing power. Amen. Open your oil. We speak healing power. Open your oil. I told us to come with oil. Open your anointing oil. On your dance up. Dance up. I got my children in my mouth. Mama. On your dance On your dance up. Dance up. Dance up. I got my two rookie mama. Mama. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, if you don't, if you don't have oil, mama, let somebody turn on your palm. Oh, if you don't have oil, let somebody turn the little on your palm. Nare kelebo. Nare kelebo. Nare to toe. Nare to toe. Sasa gibo shibo. Lord, you reign forever. You're the same. I got my two rookie mama. Mama, you lifted me. You lifted me. You gave me your song. You gave me your song. Last night I called out a case and there was a boy who, who reached out to me and said, I, he sent me a message. He said, I called his father. They didn't allow him to come out. Is it you? Is your father here now? Bring him. He sent me a message after the service last night. He said, I called his father out, but the ushers didn't let. Ushers, just try and be more sensitive. Lift up the hand, hand with the oil. Lift up. If you have the oil in the bottle, lift it up. I'm going to bless the bottle, and those of you holding the oil in the bottle will now turn it to your palm. I bless it. I speak favor. I speak signs. I speak wonders. Amen. I speak miracles. Amen. I decree an opportunity for a divine visitation. Amen. May it produce wonders and produce signs. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Those of you with oil on your palm, keep your hand up. Those of you with oil in the bottle, turn from the bottle to your palm and Cover the bottle. Keep it somewhere safe. Then lift up the palm with oil. Those of you with oil in the bottle, turn out, put it in your palm, on your palms, and keep it safe and lift up the hand with oil. Everybody lift your hand with oil. Lord, I ask for signs. Amen. For wonders. Amen. For the coming move of God. Amen. For miracles. Amen. Today. Amen. As this oil touches the people, anything that God has not planted, be uprooted. Amen. As this oil, as this oil touches you, 
let there be miracles everywhere amen favor everywhere amen nah. amen nah. amen put that hand on your forehead take it take it take it take it take it shut up take amen. signs and wonders amen miracles Touch, 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 touch. Be free. Speak the hand of God upon you. Amen. I speak the hand of God upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Be healed in your body. Amen. Be healed in your mind. Amen. Let it be a new day for you. Amen. A new season for you. Amen. Begin to wave your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. I can see you waving your hands. Wave it, wave it, wave it. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We're going to take an offering. Listen to this. No service is complete without an altar being raised. And we had we had 90% of the multiple testimonies that came. We are connected to, I did this, I gave this.